hello there guys, my name is Fat Initial, and today I'm going to have another tutorial on my channel. But first of all, I just want to say sorry for the mic quality. Once again, my blue snowball was working yesterday, but today it decided just to go all retard once again. But today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a transition that a lot of you guys was PMing me about. So it was just this transition right here, the little form thing. So I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. And another thing is, if you guys want to see a tutorial on the transition uh, after this clip, go into the next one. I'll show you right now. This little circle thing, just let me know. I, I don't know why I was lagging just then. I think it's because I have a lot of programs open. But anyways, let me get right into it. So I have a little um, little preview here, and it looks really ugly because I don't have shine on the layers yet, which I will show you guys like the sentence to add and everything, and because you don't have screen pumps. So you really want to put screen pumps like on something like this, like a, a bouncing type of thing, because like duh, duh, it looks really cool. So anyways, let me just show you guys how to do this real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new composition with this clip, like so. And I'm going to find the parts that I want to use for the clip. So right here is where I want to start for the transition. And I want the transition to use this frame. So I'll hit Shift 1, and I'll duplicate it, and I'll just trim my comp to work area. OK, so now at my 1 marker, I'm just going to hit Time. Right click Time, Freeze Frame, and go ahead and duplicate this two more times. One, two, and then go here to the very beginning. And if we just sold this layer, we can see that it's back at the kill can. So on the first layer, I'm just going to go ahead and mask my gun. And just to save time, I'm just going to take the mask from this one because that will save me time. So I'm just copy the mask. Just go ahead and mask the gun for that one. OK. And then for the second one, it's a little bit it's a little bit easier. So I'll just do it with you guys. So what you're going to do is just mask out the ledge and the wall. So I'll just do that with you guys real quick. I'm not going to do a perfect mask just for tutorial purposes, but I will do a decent one. Okay, so now I have that mask and it looks fine and everything. Go ahead and get the second mask, Control C, and then paste it right there. So now what we're going to do on that mask, we're going to go ahead and hit M. And now you can see that we have both these masks and if I solo it, you see we have the gun and we don't want the gun because we already had the gun pop up. So I'll go ahead and set this to subtract and now the gun won't be there, but we still have the little part of the ledge right there. So that's perfect, that's what we want. And then go ahead and grab both these masks, Control C and then go ahead and paste it on this last layer and then hit M and put, set them both to subtract so now if we see if I solo this we only have the little background area and the kill cam stuff and all that so go ahead and hit F, um, F and just feather all these ones to about 3 pixels should be a decent value ok ok now what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose every single one of them individually so go ahead and pre-compose this one so we'll call this one gun. Precompose this one, and I'm gonna call it uh, ledge, and then precompose this one, and I'm gonna call it BG. Okay. So for the gun one, go ahead and type in trap code form. So we'll go to effect your effects tab, effects tab, trap code form, and then or you could just search it in the effects and presets, which I like to do. But I was just showing you guys how to do it there. So now go ahead and I'm going to solo this one layer just so, we're so, ugh, just so we're attracted to that one thing. And I'm going to go ahead and go to base form and set it to my composition size. So if your composition is 1920 by 1080, set it to that. If it's 720 by 480, set it to that. If it's 1280 by 720, set it to that. And then put the size Z just to 1 just because we're not doing any 3D stuff in here. Okay, so that's good for the base form. Now go ahead and go to layer maps and go to color and alpha and set it to the gun and go RGBA to RGBA, and map over XY. Okay, so now you can see the gun, and it doesn't look that great, because the mask, but whatever, it looks fine. So, now go ahead and go to Disperse and Twist, Keyframe and Disperse. Go to Fractal Field, Keyframe, the Effect Size, Displays, Flow Z, and I Flow Resolution. So now go ahead and hit U. You can see all these keyframes pop up, and if, I just want to go solo this one thing for a second, and see that's why I want my transition, transition to start. So. Just do that and then go over and hit Shift T to get your opacity keyframe. Go over one, two, three, 30 frames. I'm just gonna zoom in real quick. And I'll just make these markers. Perfect. And I'll go back here and this is where the fun starts. So I'll go to disperse and put it to three, just so it's a tiny bit of like noise particle generation in there. Effect size, put that to five. Nothing too special. Just change the shading of the stuff and I got some black in there, it looks cool. Displace, um, put this to about 50. You don't want it to be too crazy. 
And the flow Z, uh, we're gonna make that 10. So then it just messes up some distance stuff. And the flow evolution, put that to 10. And then the, so now if you're happy with your outcome, you can change it. Obviously, you can maybe you wanna change the disperse. Sorry about that, my dog's barking. Yes, I have a chihuahua, okay. Yeah, maybe you wanna do that. I don't know why you want to, but you can if you want. And then just put the opacity down to zero. Then go grab all these keyframes, go right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So now we're done with this one, and as you can see, it just comes in like that. So I'm just gonna hit U to get rid of this keyframe. But first of all, I'm just gonna copy all these, Control C. I'm gonna go back 15 frames, so 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go ahead and trim this clip here. And I'm gonna solo this one. So now you see we got the ledge as well. I'm gonna paste the keyframes on there. So you see, oh, we have all these keyframes. And one problem with this is we don't have the base form or the map layout set to that yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 1200 by 720, 1, 1280 by 720, 1, and then go ahead to your layer maps and do the same thing we could do with the other one in color and alpha settings. So OGBA to OGBA, map over XY, and go ahead and put on the ledge. So now, as you can see, it won't show up because we have the map, the opacity down to zero. If I just go ahead and put it 100, it will show up, uh, but we have all these keyframes that are messed up right now. So I'll just go back and hit Control Z. If I go to the end of this, you can see that it looks perfectly fine. So now we have it done for the ledge and for the gun. I go back to this one, that's 15 frames back. And what I'm gonna do is grab these frames once again, Control C, and I'm gonna trim this clip here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste these keyframes. Now once again, we have to change the base form and everything, so let's do that real quick. 1280, 720, 1, 1280, 721, and then just close the base form option. Layer map, color and alpha, Set it to gun, okay, background, RGBA to RGBA, and XY. So now, uh, it won't show up obviously because the opacity is down, but if we just go over to the very end, you can see that, oh, it's not soloed, there we go. Now you can see that it's appearing, so it's good. So now we got everything, we got everything done, and we can just trim this. We got, sorry, we can just trim all these ones, just bang, and bang. And now what I'm gonna do is go back to my one marker, Duplicate the clip, trim it there, and then go here, hit O, and then just continue the clip there, and then trim this. So now if I just unsole all of these, you can see the transition comes out really nicely. So I'll just ram preview it on half, just let it go quickly, and I'll just pause the video, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I'm back, so as you can see, it's done rendering, I ram previewing, and it just goes like that. And for some reason, for form, it doesn't cover like the background completely, so what you can do is just go ahead and as this one fades in, so I'll go hit I to the beginning of this keyframe, or this beginning of this uh, layer, you can fade this one out. So then hit O on this one, and then just put this to zero. So hit U, and then it might look a little dark, and then it'll get brighter, that's just because the form set, and so you can fix that by adding curves onto this little section if you really want to. So now if I go look at my preview, you can see that it looks a little bit different, and that's just because I don't have pan grab on this, so you can see it bounces and also there's shine. So I can go ahead and add the shine myself. I can just go ahead and type in shine. And what I can do is I can add it to every single one if I really want to. So now you can see, oh my God, it looks so ugly. Just go ahead and hit it to add and put it really high up there like that. And you could even do this on an adjustment layer, which I'm gonna do. So you don't have to set it to every single one of them. So I'll just do that, shine. Go ahead and hit it to add. Put this up here and then go to the colorize options. And what we can do is get a nice little purple for the midtones. Uh, let's go to purple, nice bright purple. Go ahead and grab that one, and then, sorry for that, and then for the shadows, just make it a little bit darker. Okay, and then what you can do is just play around these settings a little bit. But now you can see it looks a little bit nicer, and then you can just add pan crop to make it bounce, like a bouncing pan crop, so it doesn't look like it just comes in, the gun just appears. It looks like it goes like bounce, bounce, and the gun like comes in with the bounce. It looks really cool. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me guys know if you want to see a tutorial on the transition that I showed you guys, the circles expanding and everything. My next tutorial will probably be the pixelation tra transition that I did in the coexistence edit. And the super duel will be up soon. Damn, I just spoke really fast. So thank you guys for two years of editing. I don't know if I mentioned that yet in this video, but this is my two year editing anniversary. So I'll have a editing pack out sometime this weekend. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's Day alone like me. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day, guys. See you guys, and goodbye.